Hey everybody, what's going on? I hope you had a Merry Christmas with your family. Okay, so for this video, I'll be diving into the Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion case. Now, initially, I wanted to do a video for this um, subject matter, but unfortunately, it's just not working out. I do my videos in my garage and it's really cold right now. If you can see properly, things are coming out of my mouth. Look. That's how cold my garage is. So I turned my um, heating off just for a second so that there won't be much static in the background. But for most of the video, I do have my fan on, but it's not that annoying. The video is more interesting than the annoying little sound that some people would call it annoying in the back. Don't worry about that. Listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth and see if they're making any sense to you. Please judge me based on that and not my audio, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, everyone, I hope you all are doing well. And as usual, I thank you for joining me here. All right, so the verdict is in and Tory Lanez has been found guilty of shooting Megan the Stallion. So his sentencing will be on January 27th and he's facing up to 22 years in prison and possibly being deported back to Canada. Now, I have so many thoughts on this case that my mind is running absolutely wild, but I like the honesty from the beginning of this case. All right, let's start from Kylie Jenner's home. Tori, Megan, Kylie, Kelsey, they were all hanging out together, having fun, drinking all day. I do believe that at some point, horniness occurred. No, Tori and Megan were already fucking. So it's only natural that if you're horny, you're going to fuck the person already fucking. But then Kelsey liked Tori and Megan knew this. Megan never divulged to Kelsey that she was actually fucking Tori or had even fucked him before. No, I do believe that at some point, Kelsey saw Megan and Tori in a compromising position and she felt absolutely betrayed. Let's go back to the video that Tori Lane released right after this incident. I told everyone that you were the one the jokes on me. In that video, we had two best friends betraying each other by sleeping with one of them boyfriend. Okay, I believe that is exactly what occurred at that home. Kelsey peeped through somewhere and saw Tori and Megan fucking. They were drunk. They didn't realize how loud they were being or that shit was moving all over the place. You know, the banging sound but from a back shot. That's exactly what I believe was going on there. No, an argument occurred right after this. Kylie Jenner kicked them the fuck out of her house. She did this because the police was already at her house earlier for music. She doesn't want the cops at her house because she know that would be TMZ outside. Now, let me explain. Immediately after this incident, Megan the Stallion, Kelsey were dissing each other over dick. Watching me succeed from your knees sucking dick. I know you want attention from the niggas that I kick. Couldn't control your little feelings. Look what dick is costing you. It was all good, yeah. About a week ago, About shout out Bobby Smarter, but this bitch is really tough. No, except for the fact that Kelsey was upset that Megan was riding the dick that she wanted to ride for so long. She doesn't want to be a snitch, which is why she mentioned Bobby Schmurder name in this song, right? Her. But the one with the gun, you would have heard about a murder. Said her back was turned, but that girl know who really hurt her. Never been a jealous friend, and the people really know it. If you would have kept it solid, then I would have been told it. Megan's this style, Megan's diss track was speaking on Kelsey being jealous of the dicks that she's fucking. And we had Kelsey diss track saying, bitch, you should have been solid. Meaning you should have told me the truth that you and Tori were fucking. Why do you think that Kelsey did not run to Megan's defense from the beginning and saying that Tori shot her friend? These are two best friends. They should have been coming together to take Tori down, but they didn't do that. That's because Kelsey wanted the dick that Megan was fucking. 
And Megan didn't make it clear that she had already had that dick for herself. Okay? No. By the time they were leaving Kylie Jenner's home, they were already heated. But there was only one ride to the house. Nobody else had a vehicle. So they all got back into the same vehicle, arguing their asses off. And maybe other insulting things was said between that. Eventually, that was Kelsey and Megan fighting and Tori shooting. You cannot convince me that is not how that whole altercation occurred. Okay? Now we have Tori firing recklessly. I think Megan might have said something offensive during that time. No, whatever she said did not warrant her getting shot at. I don't think he was trying to kill her, but he was definitely negligent in firing those shots off that she got bullet fragments in her feet. What goes up must come down. Now, at the end of the day, Kelsey was the key to this whole case. And instead of telling the truth, she was vindictive towards both of them. I believe that Tori wanted Megan to be honest with her friend Kelsey, but she, find, she found that very hard. Unfortunately, Kelsey found out the hard way that they were sleeping together. I believe that's exactly what happened there. I can understand if they don't want to come out and say that they, want, they both wanted to fuck the same dick. I understand that. It's like the worst type of friend to have. Initially, after the shooting, she messaged Tori Lane's bodyguard and said, Help, Tori shot Meg. While she was in court testifying now, she said she has no idea why she would send that kind of message because she didn't witness any shooting. How evil can you be? Bitch, goodbye. The blatant lies from this girl is ridiculous so is either she's carrying dick feelings for two years or she has been paid off no there were talks about monetary exchange for megan being quiet i do believe that tory might have done that being the fact that he was already a felon but it wasn't megan that brought this case forward it was the state unfortunately for mr lanes okay he could not run from this now we have the father out there making a whole clone of himself. I just stood here in this Los Angeles County and witnessed the worst miscarriage of justice yes. that this world has yes. ever seen. Yes. You want to know how I feel? Yes. I'll tell you exactly how I feel. I got some names that I want to call. Alex Spiro, Desiree Perez, and the whole wicked system of Rock Nation, yep. including you, Jay-Z. Yes. Yes. You who yes. say you rose from the gutter, but you have traded and bartered the souls of young men, yep. and you're still doing it. Sir, come over here. Let me talk to you for a minute. And I'm going to say this respectfully, not disrespectfully, respectfully. Sir, shut the fuck up. Okay? You must be talking about P. Diddy, sir. Amen. The only independent witness in this courtroom is a man whose name is Sean Kelly. He came to court and our attorneys, he would not even shake their hand after he went upstairs with Kathy Ta and Alex Bart. Sir, again, shut up because we don't need a witness. Fuck a witness. Megan the Stallion witnessed her own shooting. Yes, sir, she was actually there. Saturday before, they met, they Saturday. met with our Saturday witness night. and then the man came back. I just stood here at acknowledging that his son actually shot this girl and he's supposed to be some kind of pastor blaming rotten nation blaming jay-z it took five pounds of pressure for him to pull that trigger thank you very much dental washington equalizer too and he did it was no accident it was five fucking shots okay so five fucking shots the killer wouldn't have missed her so i don't think he was aiming to kill her but still he was wrong and this traumatized her now i saw something about megan saying uh she should have just died i don't know what she's trying to use right here but i don't like that narrative i don't like the s side narrative in these kind of cases i don't like that cardi b did the same thing i don't like that shit now tori brought his son to court 
might have been the best thing he could have done he's going to be going away for christmas okay i don't believe that is any kind of pity party i believe that he wanted his son there now at the end of the day this man is going to have to face what he did and that's just life criticize people who were creating fake narratives and making up stories but she also thanked the supporters for the well wishes um i was shot I was shot in both of my feet and I had to get surgery to get the shit taken out, get the bullets taken out. It's the worst experience of my life <laughs> and it's not funny.